Today we're gonna try Sonic's new barbecue chip seasoned tater tots. There they are in all their glory. Interesting, that it looks like it's some kind of sauce that's put on there, so they're not evenly sauced. So seasoning is a little bit of a misnomer because it's actually a wet sauce. Now I was trying to find out because barbecue chip is very generic. What does barbecue chip mean? I mean, when I smell these, they smell like barbecue chips. They smell specifically like Lay's. So I was looking up, um, just just then i just put barbecue season chip sonic in google um found an article from last year about a um somebody going to a test kitchen a sonic test kitchen and trying a bunch of different tater tots and they specifically called them barbecue potato chip tots so they took the potato chip part out of the name but they're definitely going for lays they want these to taste like barbecue lays seasoning on a tater tot which is an interesting idea. It's just, you know, tater tots, it's kind of hard to get excited about tater tots. Like I reviewed the loaded tots at, at Domino's, you know, really whatever. It's a little hard to get excited about what's essentially a side that's just generally not that exciting. Everybody, I think most people like tater tots. They have them when they're a kid. They're nice to have on the side like fries, but they're not exactly the star of the show, but maybe they're trying to change that. And we'll see how these taste. I'm not sure how much of a review this is going to be because, again, it's tater tots. But we'll see how much they taste like Lay's potato chips. And let's just get into it. So there's one right there. It's pretty good. The seasoning is all, the sauce is all, like, on the bottom. So I assume they just, like, shook it up um, because there was a plastic lid like this. And uh, it's got some stuff on it. So let's try it. Ow. Well, I've almost been through this entire thing. And I'm about to sneeze. But, um... Hopefully that doesn't happen. I've almost been through this entire thing. I actually really like these um, for the most part. I have a couple of nitpicks, but I think Sonic has their tater tot game on point. Um, if you've never had Sonic tots before, um, they're great. I don't know, you know, whatever setting they have their fryers on for their tater tots, they got it nailed down. They're always perfectly crispy on the outside and soft on the inside. They have a great tater, you know, potato taste. They're, they're pretty much the best version of tater tots I think you can really get. Fried, crispy, and soft on the inside. You really can't beat that in the form of a base tater tot. So what can they do but add things on? Um, they already had chili cheese tots, which were decent. Their chili is decent, but I wouldn't say it's necessarily good. Um, and now they're experimenting with these. And apparently there's another, another couple, apparently, according to the article, um, so I don't repeat myself, uh, there are some other tater tot ideas they're trying, like garlic parmesan, which I think would be really interesting. But this is surprisingly close to barbecue lays. The only thing I would say is it's a little off in terms of the sweetness, which is generally, it's a problem that a lot of places have with sauces like these, with specifically barbecue sauces. They always make them too sweet. Now that could, you could say that's a personal thing for me, but when, when a barbecue sauce is too sweet, it does kind of ruin it a little bit um now this is just kind of on the edge it is a little sweet but it's not so overly sweet that i don't like it i still do kind of like it and also has a really nice pepper kind of punch to it i was not expecting that it almost has a little bit of like if you consider pepper spicy like which it can be to a degree like i don't think most pepper is spicy but when you put a lot of pepper on something you do get that pepper spice and this does have that in, pro in, in all, I would say the perfect ratio. It has a nice pepper spice to it. And it would almost be, I think I would give it a five out of five if it was just not so sweet. But the sweetness does kind of ruin it a little bit for me. It just doesn't mesh. Like I understand the idea of doing sweet with salty and all that good stuff, but it doesn't work here for me. And it doesn't work in a lot of things for me. Like I love chocolate, you know, chocolate uh, dip pretzels and things like that. But this, the sweetness in barbecue sauce, generally doesn't work for me sometimes it can work with like a rib like a pork rib or like pulled pork you can have it be a little sweet but in this aspect with the potatoes just doesn't really cut it and it's definitely sweeter than a lay's potato chip barbecue potato chip would be so they got close but not close enough um to be a perfect well not perfect but to be a five out of five but i'm gonna give them a four out of five because i think these are pretty delicious and if you're at a sonic and you know, getting a side with a burger or something like that. I think that these are a nice choice. I really like them. I'm, I'm, I almost ate the whole thing already. I'm going to finish it off after this video. I would get them again, um, no doubt. I think I would try them again as a side to my burger instead of, you know, just getting regular tater tots. 
I think that this is a nice upgrade. So I like it. Um, calling it seasoning again seems a little bit weird to me because it's more of a sauce. I assume I associate seasoning with, you know, like actual spices and herbs and stuff, but that could just be in my head. Maybe seasoning is fine um, as a term. So that's the seasoned tater tots, four out of five. And uh, I'll see you all next time. Thank you.